Hello everyone. Um, this here is a basic introduction to flux core welding using uh, a 110 powered uh, machine. Um, they're very versatile, very nice and small. And once you learn how to practice with it, you'll, you'll take off. It'll really easy, easy to learn. One thing with the machine that'll it's going to save you some money in the long run is a small little well the machines unplugged you know never mess with it when it's plugged in um, I got this little clip all it is a bobby pin they sell this oil at any weld shop and it's specifically made for these you can get these clean them put the oil back on it and this will actually save this will save your liner inside uh, the whip that holds all the wire. Um, this machine is over, I bought it in 2001. Just with doing that, I still have the same liner. So this is a factory equipment right here. Um, they come with a MIG cone, which is totally different than this here. This cone is specifically made for flex core. And it, it makes it a lot more visible to see right where you're welding. Um, so let's get started. <laughs> okay, the machine's already plugged in. Turn it on. This is already preset. Uh, the settings you'll get to based on the thickness of the material you're going to weld. So don't worry about the settings until you start, then you'll see actually, you know, how the weld is gonna come out. Tack this up here. Now you can see that it, it burns a lot hotter than MIG. It's jumping around a little bit, so that means it has too much wire. So when you start, uh, you don't want to push the wire. You can if it's real super thin, but your best bet is 45 degrees down, 45 degrees back. You ready? and about three sixteenths away from your tip. That's looking pretty good right there. The main thing is, what's good with this is you don't have to have a bottle of gas. Um, you could take it anywhere. I've ran this off a hundred foot extension cord and it'll run just like it's running right here now. Um, Okay, what I'm going to show you here is when, you, when you're running your flux core, you're running your angle, you're maintaining that 45 degree, 45 degree down and 45 degree back. But what if you run into a corner and you can't maintain that angle? You're going to have to learn to practice welding left-handed. Um, I've done this for years to where you can, you know, confident, you know, really get in that corner, maintaining your angle coming out of that blockage. This way, yeah, you got plenty of room, but trying to maintain that angle, well, your gun's gonna hit somewhere. Have to stop. Clean your weld, dip your body around, and do it the other way takes practice because you get used to welding one way all the time. It, it's hard to get out of that. A lot of people, you know, they'll weld it here and then they'll turn their gun in and weld and start pushing that wire. And if it's a, something that has to be really super strong, you want to maintain your angle. That's very important.
butt joint. This was, this was very simple. It's just still holding your 45 degree and just following your seam. And just remember to line it with soapstone so you can see it as you go. Cause you will, you will get lost, I did. Okay, this is, this is a basic butt joint, which just means the two plates are plated up together. The other end has a gap. So you, just to show you the difference, we'll weld this one, but still remember you're 45. Even though it's, you're welding that straight in, you don't have to have the angle or anything. Just straight into it, but still maintain your 45 degree angle. And then no weave, you don't need any weave. You just follow the seam of your plate. Hard to watch, you just gotta keep an eye on that seam. So the other side, that's a closed butt. This one here would be uh, called an open butt because there's because of the gap. So you're gonna weld it the same way, but you're gonna get a better weld with that gap. The, the weld won't be as tall as this other one. Remember your angles, that's the main thing. That's it, this one should be. Now you can see the heat. The blue, but either way, they're both good welds. I mean, this will be a little stronger because you're filling in the gap compared to just on top of the surface. Um, the lap joint. This one worked out good too with that same C pattern. Up, down to the center, out, up, out. And you're just creating a C. You can see it, the motion, that's all you're gonna do. Okay. And you're building that weld up a lot bigger than dragging it. But the but the other way, because when you get into welding, you're gonna be out of position a lot and you've gotta get used to it, but you still gotta maintain your angle. This one here, 45 down, 45 in, because it's a corner joint. And this one here, are just in and out. It's thin enough to where you, the weld puddle will reach the top and bottom of that plate. And there you go. There's four basic patterns. Um, but what's good with this little machine and this little wire, it's 035, you get enough beads, you could weld a quarter inch plate, five sixteenths. Up to, actually, I've welded half inch plate with it. A lot of passes. Anyway, that's, that's just a basic instruction on flux core patterns and how to weld mild steel.